how to request a course page. There are two main options on how you can request a course page in Ovlet. The first one or the main option is to use the CRS website. If the class is already available to CRS, then use the Ovlet integration module of CRS. If the class is not yet in CRS, or the course page is being requested for other academic-related activities like validation exam, bridge program, uh, university council meeting, etc., then the request must be submitted by ILC Deleman Help Desk. Just visit our Help Desk website and open a ticket requesting for a course page. Take note that we strongly recommend teachers to use the Ovla integration module because it is automated. And at the same time, we strongly encourage departments and colleges to upload their classes in CRS early so that their teachers will be able to request the course pages earlier or way ahead of the semester. So this um, the video demonstration focuses on the first option, how to use CRS to uh, request for a course page. So let's start uh, with uh, the demonstration. Requesting a course page via CRS. Uh, so teachers will be able to access a separate module for the integration. And uh, this module has the following features. You can request an OVLA course page for your class. Uh, you can monitor the status of your requests. You can enroll students based on your class list. And this is automated. Uh, and uh, at the same time, you can enroll students from different sections or class lists into a single course page. Or a term for this is merging them in a single course page. Because we do know that certain teachers would like to manage um, their classes in a single course page if their classes, uh, you know, have the same course or or, or have the same subject. So those are the summary of the features. So how do we request for a course page? So first you, you go to your CRS account, make sure that you are in a faculty mode or you, you are using your faculty account. Then you will see there under instructor, instructor dashboard, you will see the integration. So just click the integration and that will open this page. So you will see there a table where your classes are listed uh, the number of enlisted students and then here you will see a column for of the creation course creation and you have a column for enrolling students by enrolling students we mean they're enrolling them to your course page so the first part of the procedure is to create the course page so how do we create the course page just first um, check the boxes corresponding to the classes that you would like to have a the course page and then click the button request new course so this will create or this will request for course pages um, for your classes so click request new course then you will see the status is pending so right after clicking request new course um, the status is pending. You will have to wait for about two hours. You now, usually batch processing takes place every two hours, sometimes faster, but definitely within the day, your request will be processed. And once it is processed, you will see the status is successful. And the links, you now this Ovlet course name, these are links. If you click these links, it will open Ovlet, it will open your course page. Okay, so now we've created a course page for each and every class in uh, the CRS. So that's how easy it is. Uh, you can easily do it within the day. So now these course pages doesn't have any enrolled students yet. They're just course pages. Okay, so um, what you can do uh, after this step is to organize your course pages first before enrolling the students so that when your students are enrolled um, the course page is already prepared for them so at this point you may organize a course page add content etc once you're done preparing the course page or once you are ready to add students to your course page the next process is to sync your class list in the crs with your class list in the ovla website so all you have to do is go back to the integration module Make sure that you have created the course page already and then simply um, click sync 
if you want to sync the class list of a particular class uh, or sync all if you want to sync all of your classes with all of your course pages. So I'll just click sync all and then you will see there um, um, the date when you synced it and uh, the remarks. So the remarks updates you on how many of the students and listed students were successfully enrolled in your course page. So after some time, you just have to check from time to time, uh, um, the system will be able to enlist all of your students. Okay, so just take note that there are instances wherein the student um, cannot be enrolled to the OVE course page automatically. And the main reason uh, for uh, not being able to enroll them automatically is that the student have never accessed OVLE before. If a user or if a particular individual has never accessed OVLE before, then that individual has no records within the OVLE database. Hence, the system will not be able to add that individual to the course page. So the quick fix to that is to instruct the individual to log into OVLE. After logging to OVLE, um, the system should be able to enlist uh, the student to the OVLE course page. So what the system does is to repeatedly try. It try and try and try until um, all of your students are enrolled already in your course page. Uh, so take note that uh, your students will receive notifications regarding syncing. So uh, they will receive an email informing them that uh, they were they were enrolled in this course page and uh, they may visit the course page in their OVLE website, etc. In the same manner, the students will also be emailed if the system failed to enroll them and uh, these are the things that you have to do. Okay, but there are instances that students will not get this message, most especially if the student doesn't have an updated email address in the CRS, then for that case, um, you may have to contact them in a different way and inform them that uh, they are enrolled in a course page or that they have to do certain steps so that they will be enrolled to the course page. Okay, so there you go. So that's the basics, no? Uh, OVLA integration module also have uh, also has a advanced feature and that is for linking and merging so um, what do we mean by linking or merging if a faculty member is teaching two or more sections of the same course he or she may prefer to have a single OVLA page for all sections and to be able to do that you have to link or merge the course so under advanced features of the OVLA integration module, teachers can merge previously created course pages into a single course page. So again, uh, I would like to emphasize there, merge previously created course pages. So you have to create the course pages first, then merge them. So let's start with this state. So as you can see here, um, there are already three different course pages created for each uh, of the 101 class and uh, what I wanted to do here is to just have one uh, course page for all of my OVLE 101 classes no? because all of them is about OVLE 101 so what you have to do here is to check show advanced features so you will see here there's a button for show advanced features there so you have to check show advanced features so when you check show advanced features, a new set of columns will appear and those columns are for linking or merging. Uh, you'll see that you see here there are question marks here. If you click that question mark, um, uh, guides will appear. So if you forgot certain details, just click the question mark so that you will be guided. Okay, so going back, now that you have this um, feature for linking and merging to merge these three classes all you have to do is to um, check this boxes and then in the drop down this box below choose link merge into a new course okay so you can create a new course or if you already have an existing course with content with an organized structure you want to recycle it then you have to choose the first one link merge into an existing course but for this case, I'm creating a completely new course page. So I'll just choose the second one. Okay. 
So below, when you select link merge into a new course, uh, there will be a text box. So let's say this one, link merge into new course. Just type the name of the new course page that you are creating. So for this case, I typed Ovle 101. Then after that, just click merge. Then you will see there that there are the remarks pending. So it's, it is being processed. And after some time, um, these course pages will be merged into a single course page. So you will observe that the links of the individual course pages are not active anymore. You will not see these individual course pages anymore in your Ovle account. What you will see in your Ovle account is the combined or the merged course page already, which is Ovle 101. Okay, so you can do merging before or after syncing, it doesn't matter. So you can create the course page, sync them, and then afterwards merge them. Or you can also do uh, create the course page, then merge them, then after merging, you may sync them. It doesn't matter. Okay, what you have to remember is when you're merging different sections into a single course page, um, the student will still be tagged with respect to its section. So students from WFU will be tagged WFU, uh, students from TTHU will be grouped under group TTHU, etc. But all of them are uh, enrolled in a single course page. Uh, so I think you will have better understanding of um, of uh, having groups or tags uh, when you watch the video about groups and groupings which will be available soon. So there you go. So uh, that's how you request a course page and that's how you also use the advanced features of the CRS of the integration module. That's the end of the video demonstration. For questions and clarifications, open a ticket at ILC Tuliman Help Desk. Visit helpdesk.ilc.upd.edu.ph. Upgrade to interactive.